Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a good old unboxing. <laughs> yeah, so of course a vintage toy unboxing. Yeah, because that's what I mostly show here on my little uh, YouTube channel. Vintage toys from the 80s and 90s, all the good stuff that we remember. I mean, I'm born in 88, so um, from our childhoods and um, you see that behind me, it's mostly the more or less girly stuff. So like My Little Pony, Polly Pocket. Uh, I've also gotten into some other toy lines, but all of the spectrum. If you're interested in that, then you might want to subscribe to my channel. Uh, please also hit uh, the bell icon to get notified because my videos are a little bit hit or miss if they show up on uh, people's uh, subscription feed. So if you click the bell, you definitely get notified. And um, yeah, if you think you are subscribed already to my channel, please go and check if you really are because uh, it happened to me uh, that I got kind of kicked out of a YouTube subscription. I don't know why that is. I was always following that YouTuber and suddenly I didn't see the videos anymore and I checked that I wasn't subscribed anymore. Maybe if you are a long time subscriber or whatever and you're not seeing uh, my videos on your feed, maybe check if you are still subscribed. But anyways, um, yeah. I have not opened this package yet. It's still completely sealed. And um, it is actually a a little bit of a mystery unboxing. Not really, because I kind of should know what's in there. Um, maybe not all of it, but, but, but I have seen a couple of things. Well, this package uh, is actually from a subscriber, um, Donna, Donna Phillips. She um, contacted me over on my Instagram, Lao Sky Painter Toys. Uh, that she would like to send me a little bit uh, of stuff that she, that she thought that I would enjoy, she, she that she didn't need or would doubles for her. And, um, and I'm like, with these kind of things, I'm always like, wait, could you at least tell me kind of what it is? Because like, I'm living in a two room apartment. I have to be really careful. I cannot get every clutter in here. Uh, so um, it, it Sometimes it doesn't seem like I'm like selective when I go to flea markets and buy this and that, but I kind of am. Um, so at least to kind of have a glimpse of what do you want to send me, if it's maybe really stuff that I'm not interested in, I wouldn't take it. But she was like, here, there's a little bit of Barbie stuff there and there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, whatever. I don't want to spoil because I also don't really remember what all of it was. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we, exchange so I gave her my address and here's the package. She's actually from uh, from England so this comes directly from Devon. Uh, I don't know if, if I mentioned her Instagram. Uh, she is called uh, Raising7 in Devon on Instagram. Uh, if you want to follow her she, she has also a very nice uh, very big uh, toy collection. She posts obviously pictures about that and uh, also about her family. She has a big family so that's also really cute. Um, Okay, I already need to interrupt here because I just found out that she actually also started her own YouTube channel. So uh, she's also on YouTube. Her name is um, A Reclaimed Childhood. So uh, if you're into all that stuff that I'm showing you, then you might be interested in her videos as well. She has just released one video, but it's a fun haul. So go over there. I will definitely leave the link down below. And I'm really interested. So let's get this open. A lot of stickers on it about yeah import here and not European Union and blah 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 yeah I know it comes from the UK <laughs> so ugh. it's really packed and I honestly don't remember that it was so much that she wanted to send to me but um, let's have a look okay that's a little card it says, hi Lau, hope you love the little, th uh, love little things inside this package. Thanks for all the lovely videos. They brighten up my week. All the best, Donna. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, really, um, I've had a couple of like issues with this channel. I still have them as like, you know, my, my comment section is always closing and stuff like that. And I'm sometimes like, oh, why I'm actually doing this. But when I read 
messages like this and also in the comments uh, people tell me that they really enjoy my videos and that, that keeps me really going and I can remember then why I'm actually doing that because I'm actually doing the videos that I personally also would like to watch um, but yeah there were not a lot of uh, youtubers that were doing this stuff so I thought like then I'm doing <laughs> so I'm doing these videos and thanks so much Donna I'm already happy that the package showed up and oh I already see something else I see a G3 pony and I don't have that one that's very cool that's one of the clear ones uh, a little bit like the sparkle ponies from the G1 line uh, but in G3 they did it as well there's not as much sparkle in there um, and it's really cute I don't know the name Ooh, really see-through and glitter tinsel hair as all the G3s have because mostly I get uh, G3 ponies at flea markets because like my main collection obviously is G1 and flea markets um, and G3s I only pick up here and there or if they are included in lots but I see <gasps> I, I saw something and I'm like I was already thinking about buying them and I didn't I saw them online quite a few times and they were not bad prices and I didn't go for them and now they are oh my god I don't know what what are they oh, oh even has the saddle Ursa and Rory from from Moon Dreamers <gasps> From my reaction you might um, guess that um, uh, this was not shown in the photos that, that she uh, she sent to me over on Instagram. Wow! These are seriously grail toys for me and um, I was always like I want to have them but, but I don't have anything Moon Dreamers. Lately I have gotten a little bit bits and bobs from the Moon Dreamers toy line. Uh, it's a toy line from Hasbro and um, from 86 I think that's, that's the time 86 87 around that time um, and uh, a lot of the stuff is like really really small uh, cute dolls glow-in-the-dark hair glow-in-the-dark fashions and also parts of these glow-in-the-dark and their faces and everything it reminds me me so much of My Little Pony, no wonder, because the same designers designed those that also designed My Little Ponies back then over at Hasbro. The polar bear, I think it, the name is Ursa and uh, I think the, at least the stars will glow in the dark. And actually the saddle uh, can uh, come loose, so it's, it's, a, it's a separate piece and I've seen this one a couple of times without the saddle. Um, Oh, look at this face. Do you see the similarity? Do you see why I think they fit so well in the My Little Pony line? Uh, the, it's, it's the eyes. I mean, it's the general design, but it's also the eyes. Obviously, they don't have brushable hair, so they could have given uh, the lion a brushable mane, but I mean, they didn't. Um, so that makes them obviously different to My Little Ponies, but oh wow, the patterns on it. I mean, um, here you can see there's a little bit of highlighter mark. I don't know if this is like from the vinyl itself or if someone really put highlighter on it because it's also here, it also shows here. But I really don't mind at all. I mean, you can display it like this and nobody will ever see it. It's, um, they were right on top and I couldn't ignore them, I couldn't leave them for last or something. I was, I'm so, uh, oh my goodness, I, I can't believe it. There's one that I'm watching constantly on, on uh, eBay and it's uh, I think 45 or something euro and I'm always like, oh, I should buy it, no. Uh, oh, I, I'm so, I mean, A, I'm so glad I didn't and ah, uh, thank you so much. How, how can I, oh my, oh my goodness. Did you have them like with these doubles or like how 
I can't believe. But I already see something else peeking out here. And this is also amazing. This is the crown that goes to the little keeper's horse. Um, honestly, I don't know what it is called. What, what's the name of the little... Uh, it's a little keeper's pony that's laying down. I don't know. The big one's called Diamond. I, I am blanking on the name. Um, yeah, this is the crown. I don't have that one. I have like two of the ponies, but I don't have a crown. Um, I recently learned that this is actually the same mold as something else, but I forgot from another toy line. I think it, yeah, I think it is kind of strangely enough a uh, same mold as a, as a crown from from the Flower Princess toy line from Criada. Criada? I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, um. Tada! <laughs> My goodness! Uh, at the end of the video I will put it to, to, to the pony, but right now I want to get more of the things out here. Let's see what else is here. What is this? A small little thing. Oh, it's a G2 pony. It's a, oh, there's another one. Oh no, this is something else. Okay. Uh, um, um, um. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is a small little G2 baby pony. They're so teeny tiny. I only have one. I found it at a flea market and it has a really bad haircut. <laughs> um, sometimes I don't realize how small they are. I mean, if I grab a G1 baby pony... Yeah. <clears throat> they are definitely smaller. I also, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this one because G2 ponies um, I, it's probably the, the toy line of um, the line of My Little Pony that I have least knowledge of. Um, in the end, I will definitely uh, research everything and tell you all those names. But this is it's very interesting, this toy line. Um, did it quite often to have like really different, like the mane is a completely different color than the tail, for example. And um, they have all of the G2s have sparkling uh, gems in the eyes ones are still in there they're not falling out because that obviously sometimes happens with the g2s <gasps> and i saw something else which honestly i don't know this is probably i mean it, it very much also looks like a g2 i mean normal g2s they aren't this tiny um is it from mcdonald's yeah made for mac the corp Hasbro, da 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 da. Macau. Ooh, <laughs> this little pony was made in Macau. It's a Macau pony, though. Um, yeah, actually, with, with with G1 ponies, it's something very special. If you have one that's made in Ma made in Macau, they were pretty much only available in Germany back then. And um, then this has nothing to do with it. This is a little G2 um, uh, McDonald's pony. I have. Two, no one, but they look different. I think G2s they put out in different ways. They were probably not, there was probably not only one uh, McDonald's wave with G2 ponies um, because the ones I have they also have a brushable mane. This has a normal um, like molded on mane, which mostly with McDonald's ponies it's either they have a molded tail or they have a molded mane. They mostly don't have both. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think the pony that it's based on is Eve. No, no, not Eve, but but something similar. Ivy. I think it's Ivy. Ivy, I think. In such a, a G2, but uh, yeah, I see already more Generation Two ponies. Oh wow! This is so bright and colorful. And it's in such good condition. The mane looks amazing. It's sun. It's a very, um, it's just a sun symbol, but uh, with a hot pink body, it really reminds me. It looks almost tropical. Oh, I don't know what the name of this pony is, but um, yeah, it is another G2 pony. So far, nothing that she showed me on the pictures has, has been in the box. So everything is like a su su surprise. What is this one? Ah, yeah, so I think this is the pony that this one is based on. This is the McDonald's version, this is the actual G2. This is, yeah, uh, as far as I can remember, this is um, 
uh, eye beat. I mean, which makes has gems in the eyes and has really, really hot pink hair. This is definitely a hair color that uh, the Generation One pony line did not have at all. It's very long hair. Wow. Um. Ah, so cute! I didn't know that they are so tiny. This is, I think, something that she showed me. But wasn't it in a different color? No, I cannot remember. This is one of the pocket popples. Um, these are kind of uh, quite a bit different to the normal popples that um, I actually found in my last flea market uh, video. Um, they can, I mean, they can turn inside out. This one, these ones as well. But they are very tiny, and they have some plastic parts. So the face is plastic, and the arms and the legs and I think they still can turn inside out yeah so they look really like uh, they would just stick out of a little pocket ah I didn't know that they are so cute oh I want to have more of them now I mean with popples it's like yeah sure they are plushes so they are pretty spacey <laughs> pretty big and but these are so tiny I mean what does it say 86 those characters from Cleveland that's the company that designed them same as for example Lady Lovely Locks also also those characters from Cleveland and then licensed to Mattel and they made this toy line oh they are adorable ah oh, they can also move the legs can kind of move side to side like this and oh the face is so cute this is uh, overload um, of, of, I don't know, of cuteness and everything. There's so many little things. What, what's in here? What is this? What is this? It feels like... <laughs> I'm speechless. And I don't know if I should be more speechless than with... Like, for example, these two, when I was like, this is the very expensive Generation 1 baby pony. Wow, this is um, baby, oh my goodness, um, <laughs> Meadow Sweet? No, I have to look it up. I'm, I'm sorry, it's uh, one from the late family ponies. So, you might remember that uh, they are standing right behind me. Here, they are different. Uh, family ponies where there was a mommy, a daddy, and one or two sister or brothers. Um, the normal ones that you can uh, still find pretty frequently and they are not really expensive are the ones from uh, uh, year seven of My Little Pony, so from 88 around that time. But later on in the 90s, in the early 90s, there was another line of three family ponies um, only released in Europe and um, they have these they have these hair colors that are not like like different stripes rooted different um, hair colors but they are striped in a I don't know you, you you see it it's like a dip dye you know it starts with pink then it gets to uh, green then it's orange yellow and white um, and I have to check which family this is because I always mix them up there's Berrytown, Meadowsweet and I think this is probably the last one that I cannot remember right now. I know this is the baby from the Berrytown family. So, okay, I had the name in mind, but I, I never cannot really uh, which one is which. So there's um, Berrytown, Meadowsweet, and the last one is uh, the Sunbright family. So these three families all have this striped hair and they are really, really thought after. I have none of them. So this is my very, very first pony. So this is baby berry town <gasps> how i cannot believe my luck um of, of course there's a little little like there's a little blue spot there's a little red spot it's just like i'm not really picky anyways and i might uh, try to bleach that out but probably it's not working but anyways here little um scooter or oh, is it a scooter i don't know it's a little thing <laughs> A little vehicle with wheels. It's a the baby blossom pose. Super cute. Um, light pink eyes, and then you see those colors 
pink, green, orange, yellow and white. And the body is white. <sighs> Can't believe that you just sent this to me, Donna. And I see another G. Do pony. Oh, this is also very, 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 very sweet. Um, yeah, I have no idea about the name. <laughs> and it is super, again, these, these are super bold colors. Um, and this pink body, light pink, and this super like neon pink hair. Uh, this hair color we also had in generation one. <laughs> uh, the symbol is a little present. And generation two ponies still had the symbols on both sides. So not this generation three and all the ones that come after. Uh, they only have the symbol on one side, but G2 still carried on how it was in the first gen. With both, so, okay, what, what else is in here? <laughs> this one big thing after the other. Oh my goodness, there's another Moon Dreamers doll. Like, mm, I, I, I'm freaking out. I don't have that one. I don't know the name of this one. Um, and it seems there's even a shoe. I think she... Did you tell me that there would be a Moon Dreamer stall? And I completely forgot it. I mean, which is good because then it's, it's an absolute um, like surprise. Um, let me check. So I think... Uh, the character actually is, uh, it's one from the bigger ones, so there were the small ones that actually came with the two animals. Um, and this is one from the bigger ones, so it's Sparky Dreamer. Um, but uh, the outfit, so the top part actually would go to Bitsy, which is one of the small adults. And then obviously he has uh, some pretty small tights, probably also from one of the smaller ones. I, can, I, can, I would guess that. And there's a shoe, but the shoe fits. <laughs> Um, but I don't care. The hair looks really nice. They have these super 80s haircuts, you know, these kind of mullets, some of them at least, uh, where there's a lot of cut hair here. This is not cut from being cut from children. This is, uh, this is the hairstyle that it gets long in the back. So it's an actual mullet, you could say. Um, oh, they're so sweet. Hey, dreamer. I think that's the one that uh, actually came with the um, star-shaped glasses. Yeah. The hair glows in the dark and also the little star here at the front. Yeah, I think you showed me this one in the picture, right? There's another Popples! Another pocket Popples. I think that's from what at least I can remember that you showed me uh, an orange one. That's why I was like, wasn't that a different color? Oh, I'm, I mean, as I said, I want to have more of them. They are so cute. I mean, they're even cuter, I think, when they are just in their little pockets. Oh, this is so adorable. Same, yeah. Well, this one uh, says American, like 80, 1985 American Greetings. This one said uh, those characters from Cleveland. Um, well, American Greetings is the main company, but usually it says those characters from Cleveland because this is the kind of the team that worked on, on those. Same as I said, the Lady Dolly Locks, for example. Um, interesting that this tag says directly American Greetings. Interesting, so it is maybe a different, uh, was a different, I don't know, production here. And this one also says 86, while well, this one says 85. And uh, I don't know why or whatever, maybe it is from a different wave, but interesting. Ah. Oh, wow. This is a Moon Dreamers stand, like, like a doll stand, but I don't know if there's anything else to it. Um, or if you, I don't know, but it says Moon Dreamers. See that? That's kind of amazing. Another wonderful generation two, my little pony. I mean, my G2 pony collection explodes with this package from, from you, Donna. Um, wow, very nice. This one has a, like, it's, it's one, like one tone. So the mane has almost the same color as the body. Like it's, it's a dark periwinkle, would 
would say uh, this color so it's not really purple it's not really blue it's somewhere in between and has this um, uh, I don't know this card symbol motion pony right 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 because it's the same character as this one i'm knocking everything over you can see that it is uh, the same pony kind of meant to be because same hair colors and kind of the same symbol not exactly and this one has something here so i guess yeah this is one of the magic motion ponies so if you wiggle the head or if you move the head then the tail wiggles oh this is actually kind of cute the other way and you could also do it like this, then the head would move, but um, here you can see that the symbol, the sun, is not 100% uh, the same, because this one is, is like empty in the middle, so it's more like has a hole in the middle. This one is filled up completely, and they have used the exact same hair colors. Uh, this one has a little bit cut bangs, but I absolutely don't care. And you can see they're sticking a little um, plastic thing out of the tail. And um, that made me already think that it's probably one of the magic motion ponies. Cute! And also they are in a different pose anyway. So this is, I think it's a morning glory pose from, from the hooves. You can see this one has a different pose from the standing here. Um, in Generation 2 they um, yeah, really started doing that with G1, it was mostly when there was a new character, it was mostly just used for this one pony and they didn't reuse the character over and over again. There are a couple of um, uh, examples in G1 as well, for example there was Firefly and later on they made another Firefly or something. But they really just started this with G2 and especially in, you know, we know it from G4, thousands of versions of, uh, I don't know, Fluttershy, etc. Speaking of Fluttershy, this really looks like Fluttershy. I know it's not, it's Sky Skimmer. This is one of the G2 pony uh, that I know the name because I have one Sky Skimmer, but I only have the Easter version because, it, as I said, same characters and they reused them and made different versions. One was twint uh, here, tinsel hair and something like that, but this is a Sky Skimmer, yay! So it really reminds me of Fluttershy in a way that also has, even has uh, butterflies at, or one butterfly as a symbol. Uh, pastel yellow body. This one that has is even more pastel than the one that I have. And wonderful, lovely light pink hair. I'm pretty sure this is the original normal uh, release of Sky Skimmer. Ooh, what's in here? Wow, wow, this is obviously, this is also a generation 2 pony, I've, I've never seen that one. It has clothing, but is it really, no, you can take the, you can take the fashions probably off. This is definitely one that's uh, movable, it definitely has absolutely, it has movable legs and um, I don't know which one this is, but it has shoes and has a necklace and a skirt. So my, my uh, guess is that it's by Princess version or something. And yeah, I was correct. It is the Morning Glory. So I can add that one to my army of Morning Glories because for some reason I have lots of Morning Glories um, in the Generation 2 pony line. I don't know. I find um, whenever I find a G2 ponies at flea markets, it's kind of it's always Morning Glory. I don't have that one looks ridiculous look at these shoes i mean it's it looks so bad you could say that it is almost uh it all it's almost good <laughs> oh no ah, it's so funny like warmers here yeah these are also removable so everything would be removable but i mean it probably came with this pony so i would not remove it um but the shoes you can take them off and they also have not stained so that's a little bit of a problem in in the g1 line when uh you have when you get ponies they're very old and probably their whole life they had shoes on because they were also shoes for g1 sometimes like 
fashion add-ons, sometimes they stain on the pony. Uh, it seems that that's not the case with these ones here. So it's really funny, but yeah, you can see, you can move the behind legs because they are this typical, you know, they have a joint there. One of the versions of, I don't know, Princess Morning Glory or something like that. Oh, it doesn't stop this. Oh my goodness, I have now, really, I have now an army of Generation 2 ponies. Oh wow, this is also really cute. I don't really get, ah, it's, it's a birdhouse. Yeah, it's a birdhouse, the symbol. And, yeah. Ah, I guess this one had probably, there is something in the, um, in the nose. Maybe it was a magnet or something, because uh, a lot of these had also, you know, as with the magic motions and they also had sometimes magnets, because other than that, I don't know what that is. Probably it's a magnet to pick up something magnetized some some accessories or something but there's a little birdhouse and i'm really like surprised how well uh they their um, gems have uh, hold up because i have found quite some uh, flea markets that don't have them anymore ah okay this is again this is ivy but it is definitely a different pony so the hair is way shorter, way less color intense. So this is really like a crazy neon uh, uh, pink. This is a little bit more soft and, um, ah, okay. And the symbol is different. And here you can see that they have uh, two different symbols at the side. So mm, I think these ponies came like kind of in a, in a set or something. And it was best friends, da, da, da. Uh, there is something about about them that have like the symbol once here and then they have it again a little bit different but you can see uh, I think Ivy in two different versions also different pose here's one who's up I really like this pose in generation 2 I think I only have one other pony yeah I have one pony already that this in this pose okay here's something very small what that what might that be Oh, how oh, crazy, I think. So this is a little, these are little dinosaurs and I can immediately see and I can also immediately read um, that this is uh, one from uh, the original 1993 Jurassic Park toy line. So this is, I think one of the die cast figures. I'm not sure, I think A, it is one of the um, small dinosaurs that came packaged in with uh, the other figurines, so like with Dr. Grant or with Eddie Sandler or whatever. Or I think they were also separate packs with little die cast, um, because it's die cast metal. Um, pretty heavy for this little uh, Pteranodon. It says Jurassic Park here. And here it says uh, Pteranodon, 1993, USC and Amblin, so, and again, made in Macau. Interesting. And the other thing, um, this is definitely a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Um, it doesn't say anything, but it must be from the first Jurassic Park because uh, this depiction of the Dilophosaurus with these, with these, I don't know what you would call them, these flaps, and then you know the spitters. Um, that's actually not really accurate to what. That Dilophosaurus really was so no 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 other Dilophosaurus would be depicted like this only if it's a Jurassic Park one so I don't know where that exactly comes from but it must be something from the first Jurassic Park I guess and it is a little charm I guess and here's this one um, it says Jurassic Park over in the, on the side here it says Jurassic Park wow something vintage Jurassic Park this definitely this one I, I don't know Maybe I will put it <laughs> directly as a necklace, but maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> but it's really rare that I find anything vintage Jurassic Park out there, but um, that's, that's really special. Oh my goodness. Ah. I think I'm knocking everything over. Um, and here I think this is something that you definitely sent me as a picture already so I knew kind of what it is and I'm really happy because ah, there's a couple of accessories Ooh. 
and yeah I think these I actually like really didn't know what they are um, but uh, Donna said that they might be from a fashion star Philly and it totally makes sense these look like little leg warmers or something or I don't know fashion pieces that could go on to the uh, Kenner fashion star Philly line which they were like, um, like kind of Barbie horses you know not like my little ponies small but bigger horses plastic horses with crazy colors I have two of them um, and I could definitely put them on one I don't know which one these come from but this is just a little a little tidbit a little cute thing and um, yeah it totally makes sense that it must be from fresh stuff early because it's definitely not my little pony because the other stuff is my little pony oh yes so there's the comb there's a veil a lace veil and there is a ring and this goes to um, obviously to one of the Pony Brides and I think this is the original one from the first released like Pony Brides so this doesn't go to Wedding Bells Confetti neither to um, the uh, second version of the Pony Bride so the Bride of Beauty I think I have her over here so it I put her there with for a reason because I could remember that this was in there because I found at the flea market recently this cake that I did not have and here is Pony Bride and let's put the stuff on. I don't know if the ring would really fit on her. I mean, yeah, it does. It does, duh. Um, and all oh, this is so cute. I mean, while I'm not really a big fan of like pony wear in general, when you really put it around the pony's body, but this veil is adorable and, oh, oh wait, that was too much. Maybe I just put it on. I have to figure out how exactly I will put it that it doesn't uh, like fall falls down but this is how she is supposed to look she's a bride and now she has the wedding ring and she has the the veil the lace veil and definitely then this definitely then came with it I, I have uh, at least one of these combs but I there are so many different colors and mine could also be one that came for example with snowdrop instead of this one so I have to check which one is the real one to pony bride but here she is obviously you know her but now she has the veil and the ring uh, the ring is one of the pieces that's somehow really hard to find or people want a lot of money for it all oh, this is so cute even here there, there are little, um, on these ribbons, there are little bows. And I see, ah, this one here, here there is actually also um, Velcro. So I have to figure out how you really are supposed to put it, but I think it already looks fantastic. Oh, let's put her over here again. So you can definitely see her better. because it's pretty cramped over there. Now I can also see this um, that I definitely could remember. Oh, this is like the missing piece to my Jewel Secrets Barbie. This looks amazing. Oh, I had no idea how this would work. Oh my goodness, this is the necklace of the choker or whatever you want to call that. Um, it's pretty big. It's, it's very iconic. If you see it, I, I, need, I mean, I, I immediately recognize it that it's the one from uh, Jewel Secrets Barbie. And I never knew that it had this like wheel at the back. I was like wondering what, what does it actually do? Well, it changes color of the gem here. Can you see it? I mean, this looks like a clear gem. You can swish it around. Now it's pink. Oh, you switch, switch it even more around and it's now blue. I had no clue that it is like that. Oh, wow. Because, I mean, with this Barbie, I actually found her at my local flea market. The day after that, I found the skirt, you know, this um, drawstring back skirt that belongs to her in a thrift store. And <laughs> last flea market hunt, I found the missing two other fashion pieces that go to her. And now I have the missing... Uh, necklace and she's complete. 
I'm so happy about I, 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 yeah, you showed me this in a picture and I was like stoked. Yes, yes, I want to have that. Thank you so much. And this one as well. Yes. So, wow, I didn't know that this one actually comes with a little skirt attachment. This is one of the 1993 uh, McDonald's Barbies. Uh, the ones that do not have brushable hair yet. So this is, I think, the first... I don't know if it was just the first time or the first three years or something that they released Barbies at McDonald's. Um, they did not have the brushable hair uh, that the others, the years after, always had. And I actually prefer that. So they are really nice sculpts. And this is actually uh, the version of the Sea Holiday Barbie. So this is Sea Holiday Barbie in the McDonald's version. And I have pretty much only always seen her, I think, like this. You know you can then it obviously is a bathing suit underneath but I mean yeah it makes sense that she actually has a skirt and they paid attention or paid um, what is it called they paid uh, whatever to it <laughs> uh, in this McDonald's version as well and they attached this skirt probably I mean could be just a no it's not homemade or something it, it really belongs to her Wow Love those. I only have one. I think I have the version of, of um, Hollywood hair Barbie in this uh, McDonald's uh, thing. Let me check if it's the correct date. Yeah, 1993 McDonald's. I love those. So I'm thrilled to have another one. For some reason you don't see those very often. I mean, for some reason they're old and small and you don't find that stuff all the time or something at flea markets. And then there are certain more oh pieces wow 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 okay this is actually yeah 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 this also is a moon dreamer's dress and um this goes to the other small moon dreamer stall that i have honestly mine that i have i i washed uh this piece and all of this like a little bit metallic um, thing like fell off it's it's such a like brittle material that it decays over time it just I don't know and uh, I have to check maybe this one yet yeah, now is in a better condition than the one I have then I will definitely put that one on the doll but I probably won't wash this one because then everything you know this material that's, that's a little bit shiny and a little bit um, metallic -y. This, this crumbles off. I mean, for me it did when I just washed it in warm water. Um, not in a washing machine or something, I just lay, lay it down. Laid it down in water, so. Wow, I think, uh, let's see, I think Blinky, that's, that's the one from Blinky. More moon dreamers, the moon glows in the dark. And I see, I definitely see a comb from she Princess of Power. I think that's that's the comb that goes to Catra, if I'm not mistaken. Taiwan, yeah. Uh, spoiler ahead, the next video will be a big Shira haul. And um, <laughs> I actually recorded this one before. And I always said, I don't have any combs. No, I do. No, I have one. They're really small. I always imagined them to be bigger, but it makes some sense because she are small figures. I think the silver one that must be from Ketra. Okay, about this one, I right now have no clue. I don't think that it is from she I don't think that any character in there had an axe. Maybe it might be from Golden Girl? I have to check. Anyways, uh, it, even if it's not from Golden Girl, I will put it with my Golden Girl figures. Um, because it's, it's the same size. So it's a little silver axe that will look good with them even if it might not be but it might be I, I don't know I have to really have to check then there's an amazing hot pink brush from the Tyco Ariel line I love them I think I have a blue one and I have another pink one but definitely not this pink it's, it's a darker pink one I have somewhere in there you can see here's my glass bowl of uh, brushes and combs and I love them are a fantastic mold you can already see it belongs to the little mermaid shell and I think 
They're also kind of easy to identify because yeah, they do say Tyco on it. Love them. Thank you so much. And now there's the last thing. And I definitely remember that you said you're gonna send this to me. It is a golden girl for you. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. So. What, what's all of the stuff? So there are a couple of accessories. And a leg. <laughs> and the figure. Yeah, I knew. She, um, Donna told me that um, this one has a broken leg. And um, I was like, I don't care. It's kind of interesting to me to uh, try to restore something that I have never tried. Okay, those, they don't have rubber bands in there. Like, for example, He-Man figures. Um, they have these little packs and this one's broken but I might be able to, to glue some I will check how how I can restore that one uh, also this one is pretty um, dirty but this is one from the um, like this is a good character so not one of the evil characters and I'm not sure I have to check but maybe this might be Ruby let me check Correct. So that is Ruby. And I think this is also the Golden Girl figure that I saw at a toy box. And he was the, the seller, so the owner of this toy store was like, oh, I might not want to sell this yet because I have not really researched what it's worth and if there are more accessories to it, etc. etc. I was like, oh come on. I finally found a Golden Girl out in the wild. I mean, kind of out in the wild. I can't buy it. Like, ah, oh, I think this is the one. So really really happy she comes with her cape so this is the original cape so you can see it's her color obviously it's red um, and this is the red and golden cape this is the bow caster that I think also goes to her actually I'm pretty sure that this goes to her um, you can put it on her arm directly like this so then it's on it and it's like her weapon, you could say. And this amazing shield. They are so heavy, they're also die cast, they are metal. So and you put them, you can also put them on the arms. So if you've not seen my video where I was talking directly about the uh, Golden Girl figures, they are kind of like some people say they are a knockoff line of uh, the Prince of Power, the She-Ra line, but to me they are definitely more. I mean, they are a girl's toy line. I mean, yeah. Oh, she's only one leg. Looks a little bit disturbing. Um, but very much more like action figures. So there's also a lot of like boy toy collectors that really like those. Uh, they are really like in line with you know He-Man and those barbarians and you know the very like very very tough woman fighting with weapons etc. And um, yeah. This is almost her complete, I, th I think she still, she would have a crown as well. But other than that, she has a weapon, the shield and, wow, the cape. And, uh, oh my goodness, they have actually pretty good uh, quality, the figures. They have, a little bit disturbing, but the legs, they bend like Barbie legs. So I have this two snap action, that's really cool. And apart from, yeah, that your leg is broken, I really kind of from the, figure itself, the way they are made, I prefer those to the she figures actually. But the she figures are a little bit more cutesy, little nice colors, pinks and such. And I think, yeah, this is, she said she had a spare cape that goes to the wild one. This is another, um, oh, I can't grab her now, it's another um, golden girl figure, um, probably one my second favorite <laughs> from uh, one from the um, evil I don't want to say I don't know the warriors I don't know what you call them they are the villains so they are four ladies that are the villains in this toy line and one of them wild one would have this cape this is really cool this is like a um, it's like a towel material potty I would say in German I don't know how that translates so the material this is a real you know towel material potty <laughs> but it's cut in these, um, you know, I don't know what you would call that. It's a zigzag cut at the, at, the, at the end and it has a little stand color. 
so very cool oh my goodness i don't know how i can thank you donna i mean it started so like all of the stuff that i had no clue that you would put in like rory and and ursa and uh, all of these g2 ponies and then baby berry town and there's so much the pocket bubbles there's a g3 pony there's little accessories there's the crown for the keeper baby pony there's there's the dinosaurs there's the mcdonald's pony there's ex <laughs> there's so much stuff thank you so much it's probably a long video uh, i i was hoping it would be a smaller one because i didn't know how much stuff she put in here <laughs> okay so uh, i will go through um what all of this is called really uh, but then uh, again thank you so much for watching remember please subscribe click the bell icon and check if you are really subscribed if you want to see more of that um, and um, yeah thank you so much for watching like this video if you want comment down below and other than that see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye so here's Jewel Secrets Barbie finally in uh, one of her like complete looks. Uh, not complete here, but <laughs> uh, it, it, the thing is that she was supposed to be like you could interchange uh, how uh, things you would put like a short dress or like get this ruffle off and put it somewhere else. And I totally see why you could change that because like there's this blue part then you would obviously probably make it uh, a blue jewel here and I've also put now blue shoes on her although I think she actually came with um, transparent shoes um, but of course this um, is just a single ruffle here so you could uh, take that off if you want her to have a very very short dress um, and then you could Put this to uh, see through because there wouldn't be no blue in that outfit uh, but yeah you could also put uh, the ruffles somewhere else like around uh, the shoulders or uh, make it like asymmetrical or something like that and um, you can also put obviously this dress on her so let's give her three looks like you we have the one with blue we have this one and Let's give her the final look. You can quickly see wild one with the cape. So I have to definitely clean this. It's a little bit dirty, but this is how she was released with, with this cool cape. This pony's name is Tangerine Twinkle and she is from 2006. So I was correct that this is a Princess Morning Glory um, from 1999, a European exclusive one that came with the, with the Royal Castle Ballroom. Um, this one is Cupcake and uh, Cupcake is a um, secret surprise friend's pony. So, uh, pretty normal release. Um, still, I think, a European exclusive because uh, in America, just until 1997, uh, the ponies were released. I was correct that this is Sky Skimmer, the normal version of Sky Skimmer released under the uh, secret surprise friends line but the first w line from 1997 so it was also released in the US not a euro exclusive this little um, baby pony is one actually from the uh, twin baby ponies uh, from 2000 uh, so a European exclusive one and it's called drifter so it's missing its twin so these two are actually, uh, this is a Sun Dance and a Sun Sparkle. It's actually the same character, but they kind of changed the name uh, later on to Sun Sparkle. So this is the first release here uh, from the Magic Motion Friends uh, from 1997. So also released in the US. And uh, this one's from 1999 from the Magic Rainbow Forest line. So a European exclusive one. 
then we have these two ivies and um, the one with the different sides so this one is actually from the basket surprise line so I don't know they have the two different symbols uh, from 1998 um, which means um, a European exclusive and um, this is somehow from my pretty parlor so probably this one uh, was the pony that was released with the G2 version of the pretty parlor also from 1980 no from 1998 sorry not 1989 it's from 98 end of the 90s uh, also therefore European exclusive uh, this one's called wing song uh, also from 1998 um, and it's a secret surprise friends pony so very normal release but not from the first year so European exclusive so from 1989 and this one's clever Clo clover uh, which actually gives this post the name because this is called the clever clover pose and it's supposed to be clover it's I, I couldn't tell that but it's a very very cute pony from the very first line of my little pony generation 2 um, from the magic oh no not magic from the secret surprise friends line yeah so the two popples um, this one is actually called um, a puzzle so the orange one and is from the first release of the pocket popples and this one's called prize and it's from the second release of um, the pocket popples so there were 10 in total of these pocket popples uh, six that were released at first I think that's also the reason why they have a different tag and say it something different um, this is one that was released with the last four in the kind of second release yeah puzzle and prize Ta -da! the little pteranodon here yeah uh, it was a separate release so not with the figurines together they had different small um, dinosaurs in there these die cast ones uh, came in two packs and this one the Pteranodon came together with together with a uh, Gallimimus so yeah but as I said original 1993 Jurassic Park Hersa and Sparky Dreamer in you know different clothes and as I said I don't know if I said it but it's Binky's dress and uh, here you can see how the stands work so you just clip it around the leg so I'm not sure if every Moon Dreamer's doll was uh, released with one of those stands so here they are again just amazing They're so wonderful just have to give them a good scrub but I mean oh I love them so much thank you so much <laughs> this is just one example of one of my fashion star fillies but you can put it around their legs and it just looks funny <laughs> uh, this one actually doesn't have a uh, hair left uh, and I don't know how to rehair that oh, I have ideas I've just not uh, had the time to do it so that's why she's <laughs> just one um, Lady Lovely Locks pixie tail in the front, but uh, yeah, that looks ridiculous. Sometimes she's also wearing the Lady Lovely Locks saddle. <laughs> Here you can see how you put, I think at least, how you put the crown on the keeper's pony. And um, I tried it uh, at the front, but I think it fits very well like behind the ears. Or tell me if you know, if you actually have to put it like this it's really really I don't know I don't think that that looks good so I'm pretty sure you have to put it behind the ears because that, that's a good fit and here comes the bride yeah you I mean you saw her but this is essentially her in her full glory with the accessories the comb and the wonderful veil so and here's all the rest of the stuff again I already told you everything about it Sea Holiday Barbie McDonald's version uh, Ruby and the comb the little Shira Catra comb etc so yeah 